Right, you guys got another video here for you on how to fix Windows 11 update error problems. If you're trying to update Windows 11 and you're receiving updates failed or you're getting some form of error code on the screen, sometimes they are listed there underneath the update failed and it will be a number that starts off with 0x and then it will give you a little number and it will be called error code and there'll be a message there as well with some sort of a message telling you what the code means and there might be a description there as well and there's many different error codes out there and these are relating to different problems with windows updates so trying to fix these it can be quite tricky and there's quite a few things you can do you can use the windows update troubleshooter tool that's built inside windows but it's not that great and it doesn't always fix issues and there's also other ways we can do it manually as well and going into command prompts if you want to see videos on those then let me know in the comments section down below i'll do my best to make those videos for you i've made videos on these in the past but some people are new to the channel and might want to see a refresher so let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got here so if you're looking at something like this you will see there is a code there that says 0x 800 704 and that is the error code that it's giving and it says updates failed and again, that will be it. You will not be able to update until you try to fix and resolve this problem. Now, these numbers change with different types of issues like we've already mentioned. So how would you go about trying to fix something like this? So I'm going to show you a little tool that you can use uh, that will help you try to resolve a lot of Windows updates issues. And it will fix a lot of error codes. And these are just some of the error codes that are listed on their website, which is called Windows Update Fixer. And you can see there is one here with 0x800 705b4. There's another one called 0x800 704.24 and C0000022. And there's tons of other ones like I've already showed you. So these are some of the common errors that you might be receiving on your system. And if it is, you can use something like this tool to try and fix and resolve a lot of your Windows updates problems. So whether you've shut the PC down at a critical time when it's doing a Windows updates and it's now bricked your Windows updates, or maybe uh, that you've had some form of issue and you've just not updated Windows for a very long time, this can also be a major problem where people are not updating their operating systems for such a long time. Or maybe you've been tinkering with some sort of uh, registry tweaks and stopped the windows updates altogether or maybe you've broken something so let's go ahead and take a look here so we're going to download this portable application i did upload it to virus total and it come back perfectly clean and you can also see that it does have a verified publisher here and that's a good sign because a lot of these scripts that you find online are generally not uh, registered and of course this causes a lot of problems so here we have the update fixer here update fixer is a freeware app that attempts to automatically fix your Windows updates and check the analyzer button to check whether the update fixer can fix any problems from your Windows updates. No changes are made to the system during the analyze uh, process and also they have worked hard to make this app work perfectly but things can go wrong so therefore please create a system restore point before applying any fixes. And that's what they advise on there. And I advise that too. So that's a good sign to see. Now, this is where we get the analyze as finished. And it says uh, update fixer was able to find potential problems for this system. If the Windows update is not working, you should click the fix button to let the update fixer try and attempt to fix your problems. Uh, do notice that the Windows update could be working even with these problems present in the system. So if the Windows update is currently working, there is no need to use this program to fix anything. So create a restore point and it says recommended fixes two out of two here. So it's going to clear and reset the delivery files and reset the uh, key system folders. And it goes ahead and explains exactly what it's going to do there. And it's going to re-enable the Windows update settings as well, because there's a lot of people out there that tinker with this by using say Chris Titus Tech's tool that might have tinkered with some of the Windows update settings by accident or forgotten they've done it and now it's not working. There's also a optional fixes right here and you can see it re-enables services that may have been disabled if you've been running tools like this where it's put these on manual or disabled them 
uh, this will re-enable these uh, services. And these are important to have your Windows update working correctly. So if you have been running some form of script off of GitHub or some other site, then maybe this is one of your problems where you've disabled services or you made changes to your Windows updates with policies and things like that. And this will go through and try to fix a lot of these. You can see re-enabling services for Windows module and also update orchestra service, things like this. If they have been disabled, you might have trouble running Windows updates. And this is going to go through here. You can see disable software that blocks Windows update. There's a lot of software out there that has been uh, created to stop feature updates and other updates on Windows. And if you've been running these or someone else has run this before, then maybe that's the reason why your Windows updates are not working. So let's go ahead and check mark all of these just to show you. I'm on a virtual machine here. So we're going to go ahead and run the update fixer here and let it do its thing. Now, this might take a bit of time, so I shall speed this process up. And once it's done, it's probably going to ask us to restart our PC. The first step of fixing is now done. You must restart your computer to ensure all of the changes are applied. And you can see here, after your computer restarts, you might see a command prompt uh, window. This is normal. It's used for the final step of fixing process. And again, that's it. So all you need to do now is click on the restart PC. This will go through the restarting process. When you get back to the desktop, you will see something looking like this. Leave it open. It's still working away. And eventually this will shut off. Now I found it does take a couple of minutes and then it's gone. Now, if you're still having some form of issue with Windows updates, then maybe you've got a more uh, serious problem with your system and maybe your system has become unstable and it needs to be reset. And you can do that inside the system and recovery options in your settings panel and recover Windows that way. But let me quickly show you, hit the start button and hit settings and then go to system and then come down to recovery just down here, there is some options available to you to try and recover your system if you can't fix it. First one is fix problems using Windows updates. This option is currently unavailable for my system, but you will have it available here and there'll be a button here and you can click on this and it will try and resolve and fix a lot of the issues that you're having and you can run that there. Next is fix problems uh, without resetting your PC. And this is the troubleshooter area where you can use the Windows Update Troubleshooter tool. So inside other troubleshooters right here, you'll see Windows Updates. You can run this. You can run it at the beginning if you want to. I've not had much luck with that tool, to be honest. But if you tried everything else, you might as well give it a try and run it and see whether it resolves and fixes your issues. The other option is reset this PC, a much more aggressive approach, but it is going to basically reinstall Windows and you will need to reinstall programs and obviously all of your settings will be uh, put back to defaults, but it does keep your personal files. But I would advise you to always back up your files before using any of these methods. Remove everything is completely wiping your system fully clean and starting from a, uh, you know, a clean system. Cloud download is probably your best option in this case because obviously you don't want to use the local reinstall. So you use the cloud download and you can see it's going to download and reinstall Windows and it's going to make changes to your system. Make sure you've got uh, all of the requirements that it's telling you on the screen. Click next and it will move on to getting things ready and it will then give you the final result of what's going to happen. So change settings back to default keep your personal files, download and reinstall Windows and remove all your apps and programs uh, and all your settings will be reset back to default. So just bear that in mind before you go through this. But if you've tried everything else and nothing else is working, then this might be your only option. Anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you all had a lovely Christmas. Shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.